This is part two of what the heck is QuickBooks and which version do I need? My name is Leanne. I am a financial coach for small businesses. I help business owners master their money, become a cash flow pro, and basically kill it at tax time. What we're trying to do in this series is talk about the difference between a cash flow problem in your business, what are the signs, what are the symptoms, and what is an accounting problem problem. What are the signs and what are the system, symptoms? What we talked about in the last video is that you cannot solve a cash flow problem with an accounting system like QuickBooks. And I did my darndest to talk all y'all out of trying to go out and become a DIY bookkeeper by buying QuickBooks SE or QuickBooks Online or whatever. Um, but I know some of you really want to know what the heck bookkeeping is. Some of you want to know about the basics of QuickBook, QuickBooks and the differences between them. We're here to learn. I'm here to teach, but let's dive in. So first thing we got to understand is that QuickBooks comes in many different versions, shapes, and sizes. If you just type in QuickBooks online, you're going to see a myriad of different options. And if you haven't yet hired a bookkeeper, which is what you should do, instead of trying to do this yourself, if you haven't yet done that, you're going to feel really confused about the differences. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the QuickBooks version for self-employed people, because a lot of people that work with me are freelancers and giggers and people who are 1099 business owners. In other words, you work for a company and their logo might be on your card, but you actually get a 1099 from them and you're responsible to pay your taxes at the end of the year. So let's dive in to QuickBooks SE. You might be drawn to QuickBooks SE because you identify as self-employed and it seems simple because it's simple, but the reality of it is it only tracks your income and expenses. And that might seem like, duh, well, that's what I'm trying to do. No, trust me, you want more than that in an accounting system. You cannot actually reconcile your bank account or your credit card or any place that you're spending money to QuickBooks SE. And so it does track your income and expenses. It does help you create a PL for your business, which might help you get your taxes done. But as your business grows and maybe you have employees or maybe you decide to take Leanne's advice and hire a bookkeeper, you're not going to be able to upgrade your QuickBooks SE into another version of QuickBooks. You're going to lose your data because those accounts will not be reconciled and a bookkeeper is going to tell you to take a flying leap, in which case you will then be forced to take a flying leap or pay them to re-enter all the years that you did QuickBooks SE. In other words, don't do it. Story time. I had a customer call me this week who told me that his two number method failed and he had overdrawn one of his bank accounts and he was freaking out. So after scratching our heads and double checking QuickBooks SE and all the things, what I figured out is that what was overdrawing his account was that he'd switched his merchant processor and they went from actually taking the 3% off the top of every transaction to taking all of their fees at one time. And this had been going on for months and months and months. Well, after the months and months and months have passed, we weren't able to go back and correct that in QuickBooks SE. If we had seen it, or if we'd been doing a bank reconcile, like people do that have bookkeepers, the bank reconciliation would have shown us like, hey, yo, whoo, We've got these like unaccounted for expenses and we would have been able to solve that problem in the here and now. Instead, we're stuck with a bookkeeping problem. So if you're a business owner that actually collects sales tax or you have payroll liabilities, this version of QuickBooks is absolutely no bueno for you. Just no, no QuickBooks SE. Hopefully have you convinced that you don't want to use QuickBooks SE, self-employed, for any reason. Uh, we're going to tackle QuickBooks Simple Start. Now, QuickBooks Simple Start is a version of QuickBooks that is QuickBooks Online. The uh, people that are bookkeepers and CPAs call it QBO, QuickBooks Online. So QuickBooks Simple Start does allow you to do some reconciliation, which is super important. We covered that in the last video. Um, and the other upside is that it allows you to have up to three different users, like you, your spouse, and your bookkeeper. What cracks me up is when people call me and want me to be the third user on their QuickBooks account. I'm like, no, people, I'm the person who taught you the two number method. I taught you how to budget and actually get profitable. I don't do bookkeeping. We delegate that shit, people. We talked about the benefits of having reconciliation available. In other words, 
what the bank says cleared our account or what the credit card account company says we charged and making sure it all reconciles transaction by transaction in our books, which has a ripple effect in our taxes, et cetera. The thing is this, you got to understand reconciliation. You got to understand the terminology of QuickBooks or QBO, and you have to understand what to do when things get screwed up. One of the most common problems that people have when it comes to managing their finances in QuickBooks is they don't know what to debit and they don't necessarily know what to credit because they don't understand dual entry accounting. If you missed my last video, go watch it. I talked to you about why people get degrees in accounting. This is not something that you want to DIY. Lest you think I'm exaggerating or you think I'm kidding, let me tell you a real story from a real customer who gave me this real problem that could really happen to you. Say you buy a client dinner and you put that charge on your credit card and then you go into QuickBooks and you log it as an expense in your QuickBooks account. Then later in the month, when you go to pay off your credit card balance, you accidentally re-enter the same $50 expense a second time. Now, that one dinner is on your books two times and you have a mess. Your books won't balance. 